and seeing what's going on. White men like Trump need to be banished. That way of thinking is real dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, this man literally um, threatened the lives of us and our families about going to vote. We're in a war. We're not taking this like it's a war. We're taking this like, oh, we're in a presidential election. Mm -hmm. No, we're in a war of love versus hate. The number one priority is to get Trump out of office. The tribe of people that have the responsibility and really should be scared to death of this man is white people. Mm, explain. If this man is elected, we're not standing by no more getting killed. We're not scared of anybody standing up and standing by. We're on the verge of a, a race war. Mm. Well, 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 guess who got himself in a pickle? The Jeffrey Epstein of hip hop. The Harvey Weinstein of hip hop. Yeah, Mr. Sean Combs. All this stuff you were talking about, Trump, now you got yourself indicted by the grand jury for sex, trafficking and racketeering. The same stuff they got R. Kelly with. 30 years you're facing? Ooh, boy. Uh-uh, that's not looking good, sir. Not looking good. Let's talk to my homie, Harvey Levine from TMZ. He's live on the scene here. Hey, uh, Mr. Harvey, what are you hearing on the streets? A few of the allegations, there are so many more. Um, We are talking, as you said, sex trafficking, prostitution, racketeering, kidnapping, narcotics offenses, arson, bribery, um, drug charges, including uh, during the raids, they found oxy, GHB, ketamine, cocaine, MDMA. They found AR-15s. Um, there is clear reference in this indictment uh, to that Cassie video where she was brutally beaten uh, at the Century City Hotel by Diddy uh, in March of 2016. They mentioned that prominently in this indictment. Also, they mentioned these freak off parties, these sex parties that Diddy had. And they say that he had pressured women into having sex with male commercial sex workers, um, freak off parties, which they say he often recorded. So mm -hmm. there are just a variety of charges here. Um, his lawyer says not only is Diddy not guilty, his lawyer says he's innocent when he walked into the courtroom. Um, and like you said, the U.S. attorney is going to be laying this out uh, at 8.30 our time uh, in a news conference. Uh, so, damn, that's a lot of drugs, Diddy. Um, Harvey, you said something about arson. Is that the same arson incident with Kid Cudi, allegedly? It could be. Um, the only thing they reference uh, with respect to arson uh, is that it it occurred in California. Mm. So we don't know, but it well could be. All right. So, Mr. Harvey, uh, what's her girl name? Arbery O'Day. Arbery O'Day from Danny D. Kane, one of Sean Combs' uh, hip hop group that he had, the all-female hip hop group. What do you think she had to say about this? I mean, we interviewed her uh, for our documentary, and um, she she is thrilled that this indictment came down and said more to come, and there would be women coming forward. She has spoken with some of them, and um, this is a day she has been waiting for for many years. Yeah, so a lot of more women are going to come out and testify against Sean Combs, thanks to Aubrey. Aubrey is one of the ones who started this ball rolling. You know, she is a quite woman. So once they start crying, it's no good. Okay. So kind of get the ball rolling. And, um, Harvey, what do you think about the charges? You think he's going to face any jail time? Decades. decades, decades and decades in prison. Um, right now, the big issue is will he get bail? Um, we're, we're told he has surrendered his passport. And um, 
I think they're doing that to show he's not a flight risk because they're trying to get him bail. We will see. So he gave up his passport and rumors have it that he went to New York knowing that this was going to happen. Please explain for me. Yeah, I mean, it was really clear uh, this was coming. Now, we were told um, that this was supposed to happen today. And for some reason, the feds accelerated it and did it last night uh, in Midtown Manhattan. I don't know whether they found out he was going to leave or what, but we're told it was supposed to happen today. All right. So New York grand jury indicted him. What about the California case? What's going on over there? Well, it's a good question whether California would file charges. I don't have the answer to that. I have no idea uh, whether the DA is looking at that. Um, but I will tell you, when you read this indictment, um, they threw in the, everything, including the kitchen sink. Mm -hmm. Damn, not the kitchen sink. Wow. So I read some of the indictments and Mr. Sean Combs has been a bad boy since the 90s. Yeah, I mean, they're saying that he was in a conspiracy with his group to do all sorts of things. Um, and again, they lay out, you know, bribery and all sorts of allegations, some of which involve violence toward women, um, but also involve money. Um, they say that this has been a decades long criminal enterprise. That's essentially what they're alleging. Decades long of criminal enterprise. You said all that, Harvey, but what about statutes of limitations? Yeah, I mean, we don't know the specific dates of what they're alleging. I would assume that a prosecutors have calculated that in the indictment because um, it would shock me if the U.S. attorney would file charges past the statute. Uh, it could happen. Uh, and maybe there's an argument on both sides on some of it. Uh, but they seem pretty confident uh, that they're buttoned up. Uh, so, Harvey, is there anything surprising, anything new that we need to know about? You know, I was talking to Charles about this just a couple of minutes ago. And when you look at this Cassie video and how out in the open it was, mm -hmm. I mean, it was in a hotel hallway, but it was in March of 2016. Yet this didn't come out until a few months ago. And that may speak to the power of Diddy. Yeah. That nobody would talk about this remember he encircled himself with a thousand big celebrities and he was kind of the son in the middle of all of that with various parties the white parties he had mm -hmm. and you know crossing diddy was a dicey thing to do mm -hmm. and so we were talking just about how flagrant the cassie video was yet it didn't come out a couple months ago so what about his entourage what about the folks that was surrounding him the yes men are there gonna be any charges for those folks we don't know i mean i i have no idea um i have no idea if they're looking at anybody else um but the clear clear target here was diddy all right harvey thank you for the update i'll catch up to you later all right so there you go guys Diddy is in big doo-doo. Yes. The guy that brought you vote or die or rock the vote. I wonder if any of his political buddies like this one here is going to help him out. No? They don't think? <laughs> Man, go ahead and hit that like button and get off my phone.